holiday preschool friends. It's Miss Marianne and Hudson. And we're gonna do another cooking activity today. Since it's springtime, I was thinking we could make a fun snack that's some caterpillars and some butterflies. And best part about it is it's a healthy snack too that I'm sure your moms and dads would love to help you make. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a caterpillar. And what do caterpillars turn into after they go in their chrysalis? Do you know, Hudson, what do caterpillars turn into? A butterfly. A butterfly. So we're going to make caterpillars and butterflies, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, to make your caterpillars, you're going to need a wooden skewer, like this. some grapes, some candy eyes, yep, that's and I Hudson, show them what you got. Some black icing. All right, now... These wooden skewers are kind of sharp, so have your mom or dad help you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put on the grapes on the skewer. Hudson, do you wanna help with that? I'm trying to see. Okay. All right, so you're gonna push it on, and careful, it's kind of sharp. We're gonna fill up the skewer all the way. Okay, let's do another one. Good job. Okay, now that we've got our worm on the skewer, we are gonna add some eyes and a mouth. So, Hudson, you wanna help? Yeah, I'll, I'll You wanna I'll put help. the eyes on? Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna do two dots. The mouth's right here. And yep, and we're gonna stick the eyes on the dots. And then, do we want the caterpillar to be happy? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, and then you're gonna get your candy eyes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Candy okay. eyes. And stick one right there. one there and there you've got a very hungry caterpillar who's going to turn into a butterfly which we'll make next okay next we're gonna make our caterpillar you are going to need some celery sticks peanut butter pretzels for the wings and your candy eyes again all right so Hudson can you help me scoop and we're gonna put peanut butter down the middle of the butterfly's body. Can you do that with me? Oh, sure. Okay, ready? I'm gonna spread it in the middle. Get it nice and filled up. Can you mean peel it up? Thank you, Hudson. Okay, and then next thing we're gonna do is, can you pick up two pretzels for me, Hudson? Go for it. One, two. These are going to be the wings. We will put the butterfly wings in the middle. I don't know what's gonna be more space. And then we're gonna stick two eyes at the top. One. Four, four. Two. Okay, let's put the eyes on. Right there. I can put another eye right there. And now we have our beautiful butterfly. Butterfly. Flat Wanna flat. try a bite? Yeah. Nice. Okay, I hope you enjoy your healthy caterpillars and butterflies at home and I hope you have so much fun making them. And now that I have shown you how to make this healthy snack, I thought I'd read you a fun little story and you can eat your snack and listen to me read a book to you. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up, and pop, out of the egg came a very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. 
On Saturday, he ate through one piece of cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, a piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. What a butterfly